Hello everybody, Jlink97 here, welcome you guys back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3 Heart Run. In the last episode, we went to Hyrule Castle, we met Melons and her father Telens, nah, just Talon, and we met Zelda and she told us of what she thinks is the prophecy of Hyrule. And we were told to come to Kakariko Village and go to Death Mountain. So, what we are going to do is just continue. Okay, so, one thing you want to do. I like doing it this way. This is kind of a crazy way of doing this, but it works. Okay, so. Throw the Kuko there. Throw him up there. Grab him again. Actually, isn't that just for... Yeah, I don't really want to do that, to be honest. Okay. So, let's pick up this Kuko. Take him and throw him in there. Okay, Andrew right there. Yeah, she's gonna be like, all my Kukos are gone and all that kind of shit. Okay. So, you just need to get them all back to their pens. Or, to the pen. So, just carry them all there. I'm still missing some cues. Cuckoos, there's five more. Okay, so I know we need to fly over here. Shit, I just missed it. Okay, let's run back up here and let's do it again. Okay. Fly straight forward. Alright, throw this one over. Jump down. Grab this one. Throw it over as well. Actually. Okay. Just need I just need to pick up some rupees, you know. Okay, so, let's go ahead and go up. Alright, let's pick up this Kuko. And fly on towards this. Alright, let's go over and pick these guys up. Alright, so there's one more, and sometimes people can never find this one, but it's right there. Shut up. Okay. So we've done that. My cuckoos have run away. Please, please bring me the last one. Oh yeah, forgot this one. Up the stairs up here. Yeah, you don't get the bunny hood in this game, sadly. So you're kind of stuck with just having the rolling function. Alright, so pick this kid up. Hey, or not kid, Kuko. Alright, 
There we go. Thank you for finding my cuckoos. I have allergies, so I get goosebumps when I touch them. <laughs> for helping me, I will give this to you. It's fine glass, and you should be useful. Please take good care of it. Okay, you got an empty bottle. After you put something in this bottle, set it to C, and you can use whatever's inside of it. Okay, so there is another thing I want to do. Oh my god. Okay, so anyway, um, I didn't know I had Chrissy Burton in my phone. What? I don't have Chrissy Burton in my phone. Oh, I probably shouldn't be saying her name like that, but oh well. Okay, anyway. You know what? Okay, I want to do this quick thing before we move on. This is... This daytime nighttime thing is really fucking annoying. And there's something here you can actually get that will help reduce some of that time. Okay, I don't know why I was doing that, I just kind of felt like it. Okay. Oh yeah. I guess there's some golden skull trolls here we can get. Alright, pick him up. How many of these that make it? Five? Alright, halfway there. Okay. So get the hell out of my way. Alright, so... This is the graveyard of Kakariko Village. Alright, so we'll run over here. Up to this grave right here. You can see that there's this. Okay, so it breaks the grave and gives you this. It's kind of really bad. You're practically grave robbing here. Is there another one? Meow. 
There we go. Okay, it opens that up. And I usually just take the damage for this, just to avoid all those re re-deads and all that. Alright. This poem is dedicated to the memory of the depart dearly departed members of the royal family. The rising sun will eventually set, a newborn's life will fade. From sun to moon, moon to sun, give peaceful rest to the living dead. This is an interesting poem, huh? Something is inscribed on the tombstone. It's the secret melody of the Composer Brothers. You've learned the sun song. This will make everything a lot easier. Trust me. Oh, I missed that. Okay, whatever. Oops. Okay, and while we are on the graveyard... There is something else we can play. Or, there's something else we can do, not play. Um, I think it's this one right here. Oh, yeah. In order to grave rob, it has to be nighttime. Okay. So now we can grave rob. Oh my god. Just drop down the damn hole. Uh oh. Oh yeah. If you play the sun song while there's a redead in the room, this happens. And then that gives you the chance to get fucked by him. And you get ki- Oh my god! What the fuck? God. Why can't I ever fucking do this? I swear to god, if I start back in Coker- Okay. That was ridiculous. And please tell me this is not the heart piece, because if this is a heart piece, I'm going to be pretty mad. <laughs> Are you kidding me? God damn it. Fuck you. <sighs> Alright, let's just keep looking for the grave. down here or something. Alright, I think it's this one. Seriously, come on. 
I'm pretty sure I'm done recording after this. Okay, thank you. Alright, we got the Hillian Shield. This is a shield that you need. And this is the free way of doing it. Of course, I did just pick up a heart piece, so... Kind of screwed myself over there. At least, it's still a three heart run. I'm not going to have any other heart pieces. That was just a mistake. I will make sure I don't do that again. Oh yeah, there's more sculptures up here. Okay, we'll do this last thing and then... Yeah. Now that's daytime, we can go in here. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to him. Mumble, mumble. Huh? I'm awake already? What? Well, I'll be. If it ain't the forest kid from the other day. By the way, thanks a lot for waking me up. It took some doing, but I finally got Melons back in a good mood. So what are you up to today? Got some free time on your hands, you say? Well, how about a little game? These three Kukos I have are special Kukos. I'm going to throw these Kukos into that their gaggle of normal Kukos. If you can pick out these three birds from among the normal cuckoos within the time limit, I'll give you something good. If you can't find them, I win. It'll be ten rupees. Want to play? Alright, so just watch where they go. Okay, here's one. I can't, I'm not sure how you pick out the difference, but I just watch them and I guess. Melons? Sure. Okay, and we got a bottle of milk. That is our second bottle already of four. Yeah. Two in the like literal literal beginning of the game. <laughs> so That's really cool. Okay, so slam into this, you get nothing. Slam into this, golden sculpture pops up. Alright. So
Oh, it's the fairy boy again. I heard that you found my dad. How'd you like the castle? Did you see the princess? Hee <laughs> hee. Dad came home in a hurry after you found him. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh yeah, I have to introduce you to my friend, fairy boy. Fairy boy. She's this horse. Her name is Epona. Isn't she cute? Seems like Epona is afraid of you, fairy boy. My mother composed this song. Isn't it nice? Let's sing together. Oh, cute ocarina. Are you going to play that song with me? With that ocarina? You learned Epona song. Okay, so, um, yeah, I don't know what the hell is going on here. Okay, well, at least you're not pushing me around now. Okay, so, anyway, this has been Jlink97, and so, yeah. I will see you guys in the next episode, which we will go back to Death Mountain, and we will, con like, we will advance the plot. So, I will see you guys in the next episode.